ciao ragazzi, this is Mumak. Mumak is a, a museum. It's a collector of many different kinds of coffee machines divided by era. So now I'm going to introduce you the Mumak team. Come with me. Welcome uh, to MUMAC. MUMAC uh, is uh, the Museum of the Historical Coffee Machines uh, and uh, it is the most important uh, museum in the world. And uh, with uh, its uh, library, its academy and uh, its uh, Hangar 100 uh, where we organized uh, uh, many exhibitions, its uh, cultural hub uh, of the communication team about the world of coffee. So enjoy your visit. <music> Simona, Simona Colombo. Ciao Simona. Ciao Valentina. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Fine. I'm very happy to be here and thank you for uh, having us today. I'm really happy to have you here, Valentina. And, and I let you introduce you. Okay. I'm Simona Colombo. I am the Marketing and Communications Director for Gruppo Cimbali's activities. I oversee marketing communications, all the activities around MUMAC, the Academy, the Hangar 100 and the flagship store for FAEMA. You'll find uh, some of our trainers and brand ambassadors talking about uh, our key machines. So the tour starts uh, here and uh, you have a few surprises awaiting for you. Machines uh, that made the history of uh, the coffee machines and people who make them very real every day. Go ahead, have fun and don't forget to get a cup of coffee every now and then. For sure. <laughs> Bye. Ciao. Ciao. So we start with La Rapida. So why did you choose La Rapida? La Rapida is, is the very first coffee machine launched by La Cimbari. La Cimbari started in 1912, but we have La Rapida in 1930, so we have to wait about 20, 20 years. Uh, when La Cimbari started, it was a, boil, uh, a copper boiler manufacturer, but in 1930 it became a coffee machine producer. To operate this one, you wouldn't be a barista, but you needed a license, just like a fireman. You needed to be a machine operator because it was quite dangerous. You couldn't control temperature, you couldn't control pressure as well. So very dangerous. Yeah. How was the, the coffee, the espresso? Was like now or different? La rapida in Italian means fast. It was a fast extraction method, just like an espresso, but it was completely different from the espresso as we know it now. You wouldn't have any crema on top. We know that the espresso is with crema on top. And uh, the coffee beans were going to be crushed instead of ground. The final product was a drink that was dark, very hot and burnt. It was more similar to a mocha pot rather than the espresso as we know it now. Ciao, how are you? Fine, thanks, how are you? Fine, fine, I'm very happy to be here and uh, you told me that you choose to talk about uh, La Gioiello. Yes. Why? Well, because it's a, um, a very peculiar machine, not about talking about the, um, the extraction, because the extraction was a lever extraction, the classic lever extraction, but a few bits here and there that made this machine very unique. First of all, when the machine was presented, and we have a, a, a picture over here at Fiera di Milano in 1950, it was presented in a jewelry case, in a big jewelry case. So very elegant. Very, very elegant. Like a gioiello. Exactly, like a gioiello. Gioiello translates as, a, as a jewelry. It's a great idea to, to present the, the machine, and the machine itself is very elegant. But the very, very important thing about this machine, the, the real peculiarity, is the fact that for this machine, La Cimbali has, the, let's say, renamed espresso 
um, for the uh, espressos made with this very machine. The new name they found was Cimbalino. So every time you had a Cimbalino, it meant you had an espresso made with La Gioiello. Have you seen this machine? Oh, what this do you is think? Beautiful. This is beautiful. It's my favorite. Yes, it's one of my favorite ones. It's a very um, important machine for the history of La Cimbal in general. First of all, for the design. The design was very revolutionary at the time. Um, basically, um, it tries to resemble a jukebox. Jukeboxes were exactly. very popular it at the time. It looks like a jukebox. Yes, it yes. does look like a jukebox. That was the, the inspiration. But even though it's beautiful, design wasn't the, uh, the, um, the most peculiar thing about this machine. The most important thing was the uh, extraction method. Oh. It changed completely. It was the first time that uh, they uh, came up with an idea different than the, than the lever. It was still a piston system, but it was an hydraulic system which uh, allowed to, add, to have a, a very uh, high pressure at the right temperature and uh, it would give a very creamy, very bodied um, espresso with a nice cream on top. Oh. That's what uh, people wanted at the time after the revolution that came with the, with the lever. And um, it had a, another very, very important point, which was the fact that uh, the machine would stop the infusion itself. It was the first automatic machine. So the first one. Yes, and it didn't need a, le a lever anymore, so the barista was uh, <clears throat> safe in terms of, uh, of uh, fatigue at the time, so it was a very revolutionary machine that allowed La Cimbali to, to start to be popular abroad as well, out of Italy. Thank you, Angelo. <laughs> Thank you very much. And we have this iconic machine, the E61. Yeah, this is uh, the, one of the most iconic coffee machines yes. of the history, you know? Yes. So this machine was launched by Faema in the 1961, because of the solar, solar eclipse, we have this name, Eclipse of 1961. So this is the reason of this name. The reason of, because Ernesto Valente, the owner of the time, was passionate about astronomy. So he was uh, actually like uh, uh, using a planet name or something like about astronomy. Why was this uh, coffee machine uh, so revolutionary? Why? Because it was the first coffee machine that used uh, a, a volumetric pump yes. rather than the lever to brew coffee. And the coffee, in this case espresso, with a perfect and shiny crema, was uh, brewed con constantly. So no lever anymore no and lever the, anymore. it was easier was easier in this thanks to this machine we can say we have the the barista figure was born yes and now i bring you to the future come on we are in front of a slayer coffee machine, this is a model espresso. Let me just say that uh, Slayer um, is a company that was established in uh, Seattle in 2007. And Jason Prefontaine, the founder, was uh, a very sales person, a very technician that one day wake up and say, look, I have to do something different in the market. Different in the market, it means that I know the technology in the market, volumetric, pressure profiling, but I need to slay it out, layer the other technology okay. in order to catch something completely new. Slayer coffee machine in this specific case uh, has an actuator on the top and uh, a needle valve that mm -hmm. is uh, the new revolution of the extraction. What does it mean? There is a, a special flow rate system that we can adjust to this device, the needle valve, and basically the coffee in a very gentle way is going on the top of the coffee cake, is extract this full fill, the pot of coffee, and in the end you have uh, an incredible result into the cup. You can have a very long extraction, even one minute, one half minute. Yeah. Jason, since the beginning, said what is missing in the market? And he's understood immediately that uh, sweetness, 
fruitness, viscosity was missing because the technology at that time cannot give the super extraction. And that's the reason why he said, why don't be focused? And that's the reason why today you have a, a so thick cream, it doesn't matter That's if so it's soft. Arabica, yes, 100% uh, because 100% of Arabica, but very, very, very soft and creamy. In the end, the mission of the company is make coffee better. Make coffee better is, means that every day we are very focused in quality. Basically, quality is the state of mind in our company. But to be honest with you, it's important to have the right tool, the professional tool, but it's extremely important to have people around. So people at the center is still uh, one very big focus. I suppose that you know the evolution of uh, the second, the third, the fourth and the fifth wave. What it was in the past, the machinista is became a barista and today we have this coffee specialist that basically is the person behind the coffee machine. Why uh, is so short? Imagine that you ask me a coffee and instead to serve a cup of coffee, I'm starting to explain to you where this coffee comes from, uh, how high is the mountain from where the people, they, they collect this coffee, so if here. the system is picking, yes. I don't know what else. So all this information in general, the people they don't share with uh, the end user or the potential customer, just for the reason that they cannot see, they cannot talk with, uh, yes. with this person. And in my opinion, eye contact is very important. Yeah, extremely. So we are uh, a social animal. Exactly. <laughs> That's the reason why we need to talk and, and be well informed. Uh, in this case, you can do it very well. Yeah, I can do it. <laughs> <laughs>